In today's video, we will be taking a look at the LEGO Mindstorms Remote Control. It was released in the year 2000 with the Ultimate Accessory Set 3801. It can be used to control the LEGO Mindstorms RCX and the LEGO Mindstorms Scout. The Scout can be controlled right out of the box, but the RCX must have a firmware installed before it will respond to commands. First, we have the motor controls labeled A, B, and C. We can control the three outputs on the RCX in real time. In the Constructopedia, we are told that the C output controls do not work with the Scout. This is not entirely true. Just like using the C output using third-party programming tools, it actually sends VLL commands from the onboard LED. VLL stands for Visible Light Link. I plan to cover this concept in further detail in a future video. These commands can be used to control the motor on the Micro Scout. If you've ever seen my video outro, then you've already seen this in action. If you don't watch my videos until the end, then how come? We also have three message buttons labeled 1, 2, and 3. The responses on the Scout are predetermined when it is in standalone mode. Pressing 1 will cause the Scout to seek dark, 2 to seek light, and 3 makes it do the bug dance. For the RCX, responses to the messages are determined in programming. I've made a simple program to play different messages depending on which message is received. We can also start programs directly from the remote using the P1 through P5 buttons. This can be very useful if you need to synchronize multiple RCX units. I made use of this in a very old video of three RCX units playing a tune together. Comment below if you recognize it. We also have a button at the bottom to stop a running program, and a button to play a short alarm, which is useful for seeing if the RCX or Scout is within range. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching, and remember to play well. If you don't watch my videos until the end, then how come? <laughs>